Our first installation will be our barrier-free product. As you can see, this product has a three-quarter inch threshold. These are the items required for proper installation on Praxis barrier-free products. Materials. Two 50-pound bags of thin set. Two 5-gallon buckets. Two and a half gallons of water. 50 one and a quarter inch wood screws. Three 8-foot 2x4s. One 8-inch piece of 2x4. One 24-inch piece of 2x4. Two large soft cloths to cover the shorter 2x4 pieces. Wooden shims provided with the shower. One tube of non-shrink adhesive, liquid nails or equivalent. One gallon of water for testing the draft to the drain. Tools. Grout mixer. Three-quarter inch trowel. Claw hammer. Drill. One-eighth inch drill bit. Screwdriver. Screwdriver attachment to match screws. Two-foot level. Torpedo level. Caulking gun. Black marker to mark the threshold. Drain. Helpful hints for installation. Two five and a half foot pieces of PVC. These can be used to lay the product face down and roll it up to the framing pocket rather than sliding or picking it up. Please place cardboard from the carton into the bottom of the shower during installation to prevent damage to the finished surface. When placing the shower into the frame pocket, you can use the handle of the hammer to align the pipe with the drain hole. Proper Storage and Handling There are blocks on each corner to prevent the drain from touching the floor to maintain proper draft during storage. The code-compliant showers provided by the Praxis Corporation are designed to meet all requirements of the stated codes for the given product. For ADA and ANSI 117.1 compliant product, it is important that the project has considered the code requirements for the valve and shower head placement as well as the finished floor to shower threshold profile. The ADA guidelines can be found at www.access-board.gov slash ADA AG. Following are the transition requirements for the 36 inch by 36 inch barrier free product and for the 60 inch transfer showers. The 36 inch by 36 inch product requires from the code a maximum curb transition of one half inch. The 60 inch compliant transfer shower requires a flush transition between the bathing room finished floor and the shower threshold. For your immediate installation scenario, determine the appropriate time to install the valve and additional hardware and do so accordingly. Okay guys, today we're going to install a barrier free unit and in the other room we will install a easy base unit. Let's look at these instructions. The first thing we have to check is to make sure the framing box is level. Make sure the framing pocket is proper size, square and plumb. Check to make sure the floor is level and clean of any contaminants. Make sure the drain core opening through the slab is in correct position and is 6 inches in diameter. If this opening is 4 to 5 inches, there is a risk of the drain hitting the edge of the opening if the pipe is not centered. To prevent any confusion, there are two items to note related to this. Through the floor around the drain pipe, there needs to be a 6 inch core drill. At the top of the core drill at the top surface of the subfloor, a 1 half inch by 10 inch by 10 inch recess is required. Remove the shipping blocks from under the shower. Install no caulk drain. Do not let the shower rest on the drain as this will warp the floor and void the warranty. Let's set this unit in first and see how it fits. Dry set the shower into the frame pocket and level to assure the drain aligns and to determine if any furrowing strips are needed to properly fasten the unit to the studs. Check for level in all directions. If necessary, shim the unit. Make sure you use that adhesive to secure those shims. Place a mark across the front of where the threshold will be positioned. Pre-drill 1 8 inch holes into the flange area where the unit will be fastened to the studs. Drill the holes 16 inches on center on the horizontal flange 
and 8 inches on center on the vertical flanges. We have to mix up the thin set. It says it must be soupy. Remember it will thicken as it sets. Apply a 3 quarter inch to 1 inch bead of a quality polyurethane adhesive at the area marked where the threshold will be positioned. The best way to apply the thin set is to pour it from the bucket around the actual frame and trial it to the middle. Make sure we didn't get any of the thin set under the threshold. Remember we have to fill out that box of 3 quarter inch of the way. Fill the box out area to within 1 eighth inch of the top of the box out area with the thin set material. Apply the thin set into the pocket area. This is to fill the void and support the shower between the bottom of the shower and the floor. The void area will be as little as 1 16th inch around the drain area and up to 3 quarter inch around the corner or edges of the shower walls. Estimate the amount needed to assure 100% contact with the thin set to the bottom of the shower. Use a 3 quarter inch notch trowel to spread the thin set evenly, making sure there are no high spots that will push up on the bottom of the shower, causing the units to drain improperly. Remember that due to the slope of the shower, the area around the drain opening will and should be roughly 1 8 inch thick, and the area at the outside edges will progress to thicknesses that will be roughly 1 half inch to 3 quarter inch. This will vary between showers, between threshold heights, and between styles, but this will be a good benchmark. Remember to watch the drain pipe and get it in place. Move the shower into position in front of the framing pocket and lean forward. Move the threshold into final position and lean the shower back into the pocket. Align drain fitting into place. Make sure the drain pipe is not pushing up on the shower floor and that the no caulk drain does not hit the side of the drain area cutout, placing upward pressure on the drain area of the shower. Make sure we did not put any of the thin set under the threshold. Plumb and level the shower in the framing pocket. Check the floor for proper draft and to assure there are no high spots or bulges on the floor that will cause improper drainage. There are two purposes for checking the floor. One purpose is to use the level as a straight edge to check it across several planes from the outer edges to the drain to confirm a continuous line and no high or low spots between the two points. There should be continuous contact on the bottom of the straight edge. The second reason is to hold the level horizontal centering the bubble. With the level in this position, several points on the floor from outside edges to the drain should be checked to see a continuous wedge shape under the level increasing as it approaches the drain. If the shower floor has any high spots or the floor is flexing, the shower must then be leaned forward and excess thin set removed or added to eliminate bulge or flexing. Plumb and level shower again and check for proper draft towards drain. Okay guys, check it again and secure it to the studs. Once you have checked for proper draft and are certain that there is 100% contact between the shower and the thin set, secure the unit to the studs using the pre-drilled holes and 6D galvanized screws. Tighten the screws snug to the gel coat surface, but be careful not to over tighten and break fiberglass flange. We have to brace down the drain area and threshold to assure proper drainage. Jeff, will you grab those two befores? We also have to have two short pieces to place in the shower under the two befores. To assure proper drainage, the unit must now be braced over the drain and the threshold. After the bracing is secured, take a gallon of water. Pour it liberally over the floor of the shower. Confirm the water is draining properly and that no puddling is occurring. Let shower sit for 72 hours for thin set and adhesive to cure and then remove the braces. For all jobs, but particularly large jobs, it is recommended that one unit be installed with all potential installers present for the installation. The installers can be trained and coached on proper installation methods. After the 72 hours has passed and the braces are removed, bring everyone together again. Review the outcome. 
the feel of the floor with draft, no bulges, and a solid foundation. Discuss the steps again and send the team forth to have successful installs throughout the remainder of the project. Water testing each unit is a very important step. Let's go back over some very important steps during this installation process. Barrier free. Make sure your framing pocket is square. You must have a 10 by 10 inch box out around your core drilling. Dry set your unit. Check the level of the unit. Shim if necessary. Remove unit and apply thin set. Lean unit into place. Check level and draft. Secure to studs. Place bracing in over the drain area and threshold and let set for 72 hours. Good job guys. That's the way to install a barrier-free unit.